Hi, I'm Dr. Jared Gardner, and I'm here today with one of my own mentors and heroes in pathology, Dr. Elizabeth Montgomery, who's a professor of pathology at Johns Hopkins. And um, I wanted to have Liz uh, come here and talk to us about a couple different projects she's worked on. The first one is the AFIP fascicles. Tell me a little about the history of the fascicles. So the fascicles have actually been around for years. They're currently in their fourth iteration, and they started out as these sort of sad little paperback books with very limited information and uh, slightly less optimal pictures. And as of now, they're gorgeous. They're hardback, they have online content, and they're stunning. They're I've really seen some, it's really amazing. So and you, when did you take over you know, pr overseeing the fascicles? I took over in the middle of 2016, okay. uh, but there was a lot of sort of um, activation energy, but now we've really got a lot of books coming out and we're going into our fifth series. Wow. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, talented authors lined up and we're really excited about them. So even though the AFIP is no more, the fascicles live on? The fascicles do live on. They have always been published by the American Registry of Pathology. And so when the AFIP closed, the same publisher was still doing them. There were some issues for a while, but those have now been nicely resolved. And Amazing. we're, we're you know, sallying forth into a, <laughs> into a better era. That's awesome. So now tell me about another project. You started a new company, a new publishing company, right? Or, or helped with the creation of a new publishing company? Yes, together with some colleagues, uh, we did create a, another a company, sort of somewhat inspired by the fascicles, but also inspired by some other sources. That's right. Okay, and so there's a survival guide series now that you're working on, and you've, you've invited me and some other people to be part of the editorial process there. What inspired the survival guides? Actually, I have to give credit to one of the residents we had in the past at uh, at Johns Hopkins. Her name is Diana Malavi. She's an excellent pathologist who now works in the Baltimore community. And when she was a resident, she published and took the initiative herself, uh, thought of all the things that new residents have trouble with, and she published something that was basically a survival guide to getting started in residency. And it, it it's done very, very well and very, very helpful with all like how to just get started in pathology. And then I thought, wow, it would be really cool to provide either residents who don't know about a topic or somebody who's been away from it a while a quick start. And so I thought, oh, we should call these the survival guides. That's awesome. And I think when you first approached me with this, I thought this is such a cool idea because there's not a lot of books that really come from that angle, and I think this is a really a really cool approach. So you guys did the GI one first, right? That's right. And then we published one. I'm going to pick it up here. Ta-da! We published the uh, soft tissue one uh, along with Liz and me and Alicia Ware. And um, obviously, I like it a lot because uh, it's ours. But it's a really cool because soft tissue is so hard. I think when you start out, you want to sit down and read 800 pages. It's just overwhelming. And this is a yeah. this is a way to get get started, right? To hit the ground running. Yeah, so. that's kind of what kind of what we had in mind, and we also made hematoxylin and eosin the biggest focus because not everybody has molecular studies available. Yeah. They're great if you have them, but if you don't, you want to get yourself pointed. And then I kind of drafted the, the 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 book, and then I was so lucky to have Dr. Gardner, who's a derm path guy, so he could give it a bit of a derm bent for that need. And then uh, Dr. Ware is actually still in training, and she could focus that bent a bit. So I think it's lovely. Yeah, I really like that we have trainee, early practice, very experienced, and to have that blend is important because it's hard sometimes to know where people are at different points, right, and, and what different needs are for, for early trainees. Uh, what's on the horizon for you after this? Do we have more books in the series that are coming out? Ah, funny you should mention it. See, he's putting in a plug for his own terrific book. He's got a Derm Guilty. Path Survival Guide coming out. And from what I've seen so far, it looks like it's going to be very practical with very clear illustrations of issues, very, very lovely pieces that I've seen so far. I'm Single working, author, working yeah. working hard to get it done. It's taken me a little longer than I thought, but I hope that everyone will like it. And, and honestly, I mean, obviously I'm biased, but I think that this whole series is such a cool concept and, and it comes to the mind of someone who really loves to teach and loves to have a practical uh, approach to helping trainees be better pathologists. And that's what helps patients in the end, which is why we do all of this in the first place, right? 
Yes, and we do have a number of other topics coming. We have liver on the horizon. We do have bone on the horizon. We have cytology that I'm very excited about uh, with Sarah Jang uh, yeah. on the horizon, as well as several other ones. So it's going to be cool stuff. So if people want to buy the survival guide books, where can they go to find them? Uh, look for the, uh, the company's name. It's Innovative Pathology Press. So it's www innovative pathology press all one word dot com and i'll put a link below down in the video description so you can click on that and uh, if you get one of these books and you like it uh, please leave us some feedback on amazon or somewhere or tweet about it um, i guess you can do that if you don't like it too but obviously we we hope that you'll like it and that you'll leave some feedback so that other um, other trainees and other people who are interested will know if it's a good book or not for them so thanks for watching and liz thank you so much yeah, for everything nice you've to done chat. yeah you too